Hello, this is Jer. Hope to start another episode of me playing Oxygen Not Included. They're putting the final touches on natural gas. I'm going to do one quick thing before I move to the next project. Let's just build a pump here. Just figured my oxygen system needs polluted water anyway, so that's why I'm connecting this. And one other thing, I've noticed rock piles sitting next to my food. I don't like that. So I'm just designating a spot to put the uh, rock pile in. So let's talk about today's projects. I want to build gas masks and have them be able to exit the base from the top and get to the bottom, or at least far as the bottom uh, that we can safely get to. To do that, let's open up research. I'm going to want insulation, which I already have, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, so the reason for that is it's really cold in the top area. So that's excellent. But I don't have gas masks yet in the uh, gas mask stock. So let's research that. And while that's being researched, we can start digging up. Now, I want to make a ladder out of local material. I always like to make what, anything out of local materials. That way they have to take uh, less trips around. So I'm going to dig out this, this uh, igneous rock before I go up. I'm also going to build a fire pole, which is going to be made of copper, if I can get some copper in there as well. Well, that would be even better. While we're on the topic of materials, not all materials are the same. So for a ladder, I don't really care. Fire pole, just use copper. But I'm going to build insulation on the sides of this thing because it is freaking cold, like minus 60. The different materials transfer heat at uh, different rates. Granite is really quick. Do not use granite for insulation. Igneous rock is much slower. Not as good as ceramic, I don't have ceramic yet, but that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be using here for the insulation, igneous rock. I'm going to put in a small automation similar to what I did with the fan to tell the pump to not bother pumping us, I've got a significant amount of water. So while the crew continues to build a ladder and fire pole, I figure I might as well get a gas pipe started that's going to carry oxygen into the gas masks. So we made it all this way to the top. Now I need to choose a direction. I'm going to go right. That's where I'm going to put the gas masks. I'm going to have to account for a ladder or fire pole. That's optional. A door, the checkpoint for the gas masks, and how many ever gas masks I want. I'm going to save room for six, but only actually install four at this point. Um, what has just happened? I, uh... I'm expecting to see a tank in here. This looks like an air. I'm just going to put that up anyway. Interesting. I don't know if anyone knows what uh, what's just happened. Oh, no, okay. That, 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 yeah, okay, I do, I do see what happened. So, I've only actually built three. It's suggesting one. You can notice that there's a little bit of a tinge color difference. So, while my duplicates finish off creating these gas masks, I want to go back to where I started to cut out some spot in this really cold zone and finish insulating. But before I do that, I actually want to create a storage bin and pull out some of that igneous rock and copper before I close off that zone. All right, so I need to make some gas masks. I'm gonna build a spot that already has the infrastructure for light and automation. just need to add power. So I'm making four masks. Now these masks wear out, so you can convert warm masks back to masks after they've been used too many times. I just recommend clicking on forever so they automatically do that. So the first mask is being constructed. You need to tell them to put it in one of these buildings. And one thing I dislike about this game, though it's an easy fix, is these things have a low priority to be filled. They'll do lots of other tasks, but easy fix is just up the uh, priority. Easy. Oh my god, my duplicate was just about to install it. Went on break. They get a strong union. Moment that break hits, they drop everything. This is preventing anyone going out uh, past this without putting a mask on. Because there's no masks available, they won't be able to build here or generally just go in this area altogether and you'll see it says unreachable unreachable built that will change once this little mask which i can't pick up and put in i wish i could 
But I'll wait for one of those guys to uh, do that. While we wait for that, how about we do the same thing in this direction down here? We've got a lot of carbon dioxide. There's two ways to, to, to go about this. Uh, one is I could put the carbon skimmer lower, but I want to actually protect my carbon. So I'm going through the same process I did creating the gas mass on top of the base. The only difference here is I'm going to try to quickly build a wall to avoid as much chlorine coming into the base as possible. It irritates their skin and I don't need any more chlorine for the moment. Also because of that I'm going to not bother with the fire pole. Let's take a break here to select some skills. One thing to know is Metatronics Engineering is in so we'll be able to do an automation project soon. Most of the other duplicants, when I don't know what to give them, I typically just give them the better supply skills. So I'm cutting off the ladder and fire pole and putting in a mesh tile. reason for that is I want to force the duplicants to go through the gas mask if they go into the carbon filled area. I made it out of mesh tile so any liquid will fall through. And speaking of liquid, we've accumulated a lot at the bottom of our base. I meant to do this earlier, but at this point, I'm building a little area for the water to accumulate so that I can continue drilling down without uh, being exposed to water. And I'll just point out those gas masks, they do make it so that duplicates can breathe in vacuum or carbon dioxide, but they are still going to be exposed to the elements, so cold, hot, water. So at this point, I decided, you know what, this is far enough down for me. I'm going to go into this area later. Let's just concentrate on getting to the top. And now I have a alert that I've hit the uh, surface breach. <laughs> so in future episodes, we'll be able to take advantage of this. Probably the first project being uh, looking at the stars. I'm going to say that's a success. I'll stop there and I'll see you in a future episode.